While engaged in battle at Fort Gibson, I fell a victim to the ill fortune of war. I was severely wounded in my right lung, which rendered me unable to speak audibly. And while in this condition, there came to my assistance an unknown friend, clad in blue, who showed me exceeding kindness. Hey there, fella. Shut your pie hole before I blow a crater in your head. Fall me, Ink. You're gonna fix him up, you understand? You want me to fix him up. You're hospice, ain't ya? Get something to distract him from the pain. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> You're a good boy, Angus. Yeah, your mother will be proud. She's praying for you, Pa. Yeah. I can feel it. You be sure to tell her that I love her. You tell her yourself. This Yank, he, he's gonna fix you up. I could bandage him up, but he's hurt pretty bad. You're gonna need to get some more help. I ain't going nowhere, Yank. Well then, he's as good as dead. All those hospice wagons behind the lines over there. They're meant for cases like this. You're just gonna have to go alert someone. They all ran off! Bunch of pigeon livers. There's gotta be a field dressing station around here. You think you could go look? Swear to me, Yank. Swear to me you won't leave him. I'm not gonna leave him. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Swear it. I swear to God and I put my hand to Christ. I will do everything within my power to help your father. All right, don't get your knickers in a knot. I'll be back, Pa. Find anything good? Hey, behind you. I've been needing a powder flask. Uh, uh. 
Oh, hell. He's still breathing? What are you doing? The man is hurt. He needs help. Well, I'm no doctor, but I got just the remedy. No, right here. don't! It is very seldom that we experience a manifestation of such love and respect from a foe. And if you are still living and can remember the undeserving kindness you showed me, know that I am extremely grateful and indebted to you. Why do you care so much about this grayback anyhow? Can I go now? Nope. You're gonna help me carry him. Carry him where? I wasn't really gonna shoot him. It's a hospital set up in a chapel east of here. Is that so? Now what are you doing? We're gonna go to the chapel. We're going to have to make it back to our company. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> I'm James Hill, by the way. Crook. William Crook. Get down! Round arms! You see how many? No, I didn't. Here. On the count of three, you make a run for it. What? I'll cover you. Ready? One, two, three. I do not know if you are still alive, or if you have passed over the trials of this world and gone to try the realities of the unknown. The chapel! The chapel! I can only wish you peace, bliss, and happiness. They said head to the chapel! Take him to the chapel! You can bring him to the chapel! When I heard that my men overtook you at the riverbank, I sent my son with the order for your release, and for you to be sent off well supplied and cared for. There was some reluctance among the company, but I knew in my heart that it was the right thing to do. For you taught us that the deeds of valor are not rendered by the soldier who merely fights, but by the soldier who bravely loves. <laughs>